Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video in the uh, car modeling series. Now as you can see by the reference images, we're going to be uh, creating a car door handle and uh, there are many types, but for the most part, it's a, uh, a cavity in the door or an opening for your hand and then you have the actual handle and you have a lock, right? So uh, I'm just going to put this on my other screen. It's just um, as a reference for myself. Um, and I'm not sure I'm going to follow it exactly. I'm just going to see what we come up with. All right, let's get started. Um, I'm going to take a polygon cube and I'm going to open up the attribute editor, make sure I'm in object mode. Yeah. And then we're going to go in here and let's set this to three by three by three for now. Yeah. Close that down. We're going to hit R. We're going to stretch this guy out to, I would say about there. Then we're going to jump into this view. There he is, yeah. And that's actually not the view I want. This is the view I want, yeah. We're going to go into vertex mode. We're going to drag like these. We're going to hit W and we're going to raise that up to about there, yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and this and we're going to hit R and we're going to kind of make it wider like so and then we're going to start to add some subdivision so enter the edge loop again in the middle so one there one there one there we're going to go in again vertex mode come on let's play ball yeah there you go hit w raise it up slightly we're going to take these and these and raise them up as well. So that's what we have so far. And then what I want is to flatten the middle section here. So we'll take these three, hit R, and we're going to start to push that down. And then hit W, and there you go, right? We'll do a quick preview smooth by hitting three. So we're starting to get a basic shape, okay? I want to go back. All right, now we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in here into face mode. And I only really have to work on half of this guy because I can flip that over. So we'll just get rid of half. We'll go in here and we'll go into these faces. Control E to extrude, W to push down like so. And then what I want is for these to be straight. Right click at the vertex, I'm going to hit the W, hold on X, snap it right there, snap it right there. And then of course I want this guy to be back here somewhere, right? Okay. So that's looking fine. And then we can take this right here and we might want to bring that in a bit. Let's see what that looks like. I think when it's smooth, it will look fine let's hit three yeah not bad okay right we're gonna want to go back uh what i want is for that uh shape to be held and i think i'm gonna go in here first and take these and uh push that in as well like that that looks fine then what we're gonna do is go in into an edge loop and we'll set it to manual. We'll go in here and we'll add one right there to hold that shape. And then we'll put one in here purely for decoration here as well. So we can go in, right click at a face. Control E to extrude. Minus 0 0.02 should be fine. Let's do a quick preview smooth. There you go. Good, good. Okay, so now that we have that, um, I think that looks uh, okay for now. Let's hit one to go back. We're gonna need um, um, a duplicate of this because we need to create our lock, yeah? Right, so what we're gonna do here, um, you can do this a couple of ways. You can just um, go to duplicate special if you want. Let's make sure that the pivot point's in the right space. So I'm going to hit W, uh, sorry, insert, then hit W and hold down X. And let's set them to, hold on V, we'll set it to 
that point right there. Yeah, hit the insert key again, edit, duplicate, special option box. I want to have a copy, not an instance, uh, and I want a negative one on X, duplicate special. And uh, it looks like I flipped over my X of value here. That's okay because I'm not going to be using it as an instance anyway. So I'll simply just hit E and flip it around. And there you go. Right, we're going to select both. We're going to go to Mesh and Combine. Right-click the Vertex, drag-click the whole thing, and go to Edit Mesh and Merge. There you have it. Quick preview here. Hit 3. That's what we got. Now, this is probably too high, so um, let's just uh, squish it a little bit. We're going to hit R and B for Soft Select. Make sure that B is selected, and I think it is. It's kind of hard to tell in this case, but we'll see. Yeah, there you go. That looks better. All right. Okay, cool. Okay, so now uh, for the whole lock situation. Hit 1 to go back. Uh, I want the lock to be in this area right here, this square, if you will. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off soft select i'm going to go into my multi-cut in my modeling toolkit go from here to here and here you need to be very careful that you connect the verts to the right spot right hit enter and we're going to go from here to there hit enter okay then i'm going to connect these guys hit enter Looking to see if you have any end guns here. This is a quad, triangle quad. Uh, yeah, it's all good. Q on the keyboard. Then what we're gonna do is um, take these faces out for seconds and see what happens when we smooth this guy out. Yeah, so hit three and there you go. So we got a hole, it's not perfectly uh, round just yet, but we'll get that sorted. So what we're gonna do next is go to a vertex. And again, make sure you're not selecting anything you shouldn't. Yeah, we're going to hit R and we're going to kind of pull these out like so. Let me do a preview smooth again. Much, much better. All right. OK, now that hole might be a bit small. So let's hit one to go back. Uh, so we're going to scale it up a bit. Yeah, and we might even need to change the supporting edges but we'll see that is not too bad i'm just seeing if we need to fix anything here i think i can leave that alone right q on the keyboard let's do a preview smooth Hit three yeah much better all right want to go back what we can do now is go in here to edge Control E to extrude, W to push down, like so. And what we want here is for that to be reasonably flat, right? So um, what we're going to do is go in here, hit 4, and we're going to rotate that. So we're going to want to have something looking like this. Hit W, push it down, then we're going to move it over align the one on the left like this one more step looks like and then we're going to go into vertex mode and of course we got two there you go all right so we have that yeah and then we're going to go in here, we're going to go to Edge, and we're going to go to Edit Mesh and uh, Fill Hole. Mesh and Fill Hole, sorry. Yep. Alrighty, let's do a quick preview smooth. And that is not bad. Okay, I want to go back. I want this to be uh, held, this shape right here. So I'm going to select this guy, 
So we'll do one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. And let's bevel that. And let's not go too sharp in that bevel. Um, let's see, 0 0.15, 0 0.15, okay. Let's hit three. Yeah, and we are gonna smooth this guy again, so it's okay. Um, let me just do, yeah, that's fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the actual lock here, yeah? So and now we can see how round we are. And actually at this point, I think I'm gonna smooth them out. So before we do, let's add a little bit more decoration or detail, yeah? Let's go into face and we'll select this face all the way around like this. Control E to extrude, minus 0 0.03, should be fine. Yeah, let's go in here, three to preview smooth, and there you go, looks cool, okay. Okay guys, next up is our actual lock. Um, for that, we'll take a uh, cylinder. We'll open up the uh, attribute editor, let's set that to eight, uh, which is good. We'll close this out and then we'll uh, move this over. Check it from the top. Or to scale that in. And then we'll uh, raise it up. After frame, there you go. And let's see here. We are going to, um, let me think, let me think, let me think. We got a bit of an issue here because this needs to be perfectly round, of course. So we're going to go in and we're going to go and bevel that. Let's do uh, 0 0.01. So if we now smooth this out, it should be good. Uh, we just need to get rid of the bottom there. So raise that up. Face mode, hold on the tab key, delete those. So now if we hit three, there you go. So that looks fine. And we are going to uh, go to mesh and smooth. And maybe bump that up one level, why not? It's not a low poly model, so we're fine. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move that in here. And you can adjust that size if you want, of course. But I would say it would be something like this. And then you can go in here and you can take that face and you can uh, delete that if you want, it's fine. Yeah, so that's gone. All right, and then we want the um, the actual slot for the key, yeah? So for that, we'll take a polygon cube. We'll pull it up, hit R to push that in like this. Uh, we really don't need any of this part here. So from here, we're gonna go to edge, double click, control E to extrude. W to pull up, G to repeat, R to scale out. I have to frame that. G to repeat, and W to push down. And we might want to flare that out a little bit. All right, we're gonna push it down. After frame, let's get it in here. Let's scale it down. Raise it up. And we're gonna make it a little bit longer by taking the verts. All right, now if you want, what you can do is go in here and redesign the top of the cylinder so you can cut this open in the middle and push it down but this is such a, an extreme level of detail um i mean you know if you make that black in your texture it should be fine yeah so we got all this yeah it's nice and high poly as you can see yeah and that's all good um mesh and smooth there you go. So now that we have that part, let's focus on the cavity part. Um, 
number of ways you can do this. Um, let's start with a, I would say, a polygon sphere. Maybe not. I mean, let me just think about it for a second. Yeah, we'll do a sphere. All right, so we're going to open up the attribute editor. Let's set this to 8x8. Eight eight. There you go. All righty. I'm going to jump in here. We're going to right click at a face, get rid of the top half there. Then we're going to jump into our perspective view. And we're going to go into object mode. We're going to hit R to scale it. And let's rotate this guy a little bit. What I want is for the flat sections to be aligned with my handles there, yeah? Because I want to scale it up a bit more and I want to kind of have that aligned at the beginning of the handle on the inside. So there, yeah? Now, this is way too deep, so we're gonna hit R. We're gonna kind of squish that in a little bit. And if we hit three to preview, we'll get something like this, a pocket, yeah? So we have that. We're gonna go into um, mesh display and reverse. So we got the gray on this side, yeah? And then from here, you can simply take it, take the outer edge, hit Control E to extrude, and then we're gonna add offset. Uh, sorry, not offset, thickness. Now, because we're in preview smooth, you're looking at it this way. Uh, but if we hit W and raise it up, you can make that perfectly flat, right? And then from here, what you do is you kind of make sure that this connection of these handles is not inside your your uh, bowl, if you will. Uh, simply by going in here, object mode, scale it back just a little like this. And then you would have something like that. And then you could go in here, hit one, and we'll right click and go to um, vertex. And you can start to snap these by hitting W, holding down X, and just make a, a square, right? So let's just go down. And here we'll go up, up, we'll take this guy. You get the idea, right? So it looks like I need to move these over, which is fine, but you get the idea. So um, yeah, that's how you would do that. Now, this is gonna be part of your car, of course, but there you have it, yeah? Uh, you can make it round, you can make it oval, you can put a shape in there. I mean, if you want, you can, um, you know, maybe do something like uh, take these verts and uh, hit R, hit B for soft select. Make sure you're in world mode. You know, and then tweak that shape, right? I mean, you can make it something like that. You can make it bigger and all that, as long as you make sure that the width is the same, yeah? Okay, guys, well, that's all there's to it. That's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're not subbed just yet and you want to see more, please do so. Um, that said, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.